This video will show the steps to import and scale a bitmap, and we'll introduce layers. First I will change the workspace to custom, and from the piece geometry window select bitmap. I'll choose the image to import, and click and drag it onto the workspace. As you do this, you will see that the aspect ratio is not maintained. To scale it to its proper dimensions, I will use a rectangle for reference. Using the construction aids, I'll enter the cow block's dimensions. Before I overlay the bitmap onto the part, I'll put them on different layers to help organize the workspace. With the cow block selected, press the Move Geometries icon to assign it to this layer and give it a meaningful title. Add a second layer and give it a title. Now I select the part and press the Move Geometries icon to assign it to this layer. The different layers can be toggled on and off. Now I'll drag the bitmap over the rectangle and stretch it to scale. This image has been skewed when the picture was taken, so I'll use best fit methods. Another option would be to use the block's dimensions to draw the part and place the bitmap on afterwards. I'm going to lock my bitmap in the display settings window so I don't accidentally move it. Now to draw in the profile of the block. I could use four simple lines for the notch, but in this case a polyline is more suitable and easier to use. While I trace the outside of the block, I keep an eye on the angle readout to maintain perpendicular edges. I'll use an arc to draw in the 100 millimeter radius, but before that, I'll turn on Snap to the Nearest function. This will join the lines, avoiding any gaps where rays can escape. Other snapping tools will be looked at in a different video. With the arc in place, all the edges of the block are there but there are also some extra lines from my original rectangle. To get rid of these, right click on the rectangle and choose Convert Selected to Lines. The rectangle is now four simple lines and can be modified. Going back to the layers, I can toggle them off independently, looking for missing lines. I can see I need to introduce the internal targets. For these, I will use circles. I don't necessarily want my rays to interact with the 50mm radius, so I could use annotations to mark it. 
However, using geometries will give me the option. By right clicking on the separate segments, I can turn on and off reflectivity. Now we can add a probe and see how it looks. By default a 64 element probe is selected. I'm going to import something smaller. Select the probe configuration icon and import transducer. Using the criteria bar I'll enter a portion of the part number to narrow my search and select from the list. Now I'll import the corresponding wedge. With the probe on the part, I'll add a beam set. The beam set configuration window will open automatically. To make the individual skips within the part stand out, I will change from solid beams to color list. Now each beam skip is a different color. I'll turn off the bitmap and see how the geometries look. The probe can be flipped to point the other direction with this icon. Now I'd like to see how the beams interact with the smaller radius. So I'll right click on the individual segments and turn reflective on. Watch for more videos from Eclipse Scientific.